One Foot Flipper. Hi, Paige here, the One Foot Flipper. Uh, today we're going to talk about eight easy to find artists whose albums ha sell for good prices on eBay and have great sell through rate. That's so if you just want to dip your toes into selling records and you don't want to become a record specialist or learn how to grade or any of that, these are just the the artists that you know you can pick up and you know that their records are going to sell. You're not going to be stuck with them and they have enough wide appeal that you can sell them without assigning grades to them or anything like that. Because I actually specifically choose not to grade my albums. I give descriptions in my video because I make a video of each album. I just give descriptions of the condition because I both don't want to put the time into detailed grading and detailed grading is something customers can argue over and the customers who are into detailed grading honestly i just prefer to let them shop with a record specialist and not with me because those are the customers who i feel like are going to be the most picky about their record deals uh and <clears throat> sales have been okay uh chugging along just about the same I'm not getting nearly as much listed as usual though because I'm doing a no purchase. I'm not buying anything until I get my business down onto one level of my house instead of on two levels. So my the time it takes to get the listings done every day is longer and longer because I'm just having to pull various death pile items from all over the house and I'm not getting to list stacks of similar items. So it's taken quite a while. I sold this Jethro Tull DVD, $7.99. I generally don't source DVDs, but concert DVDs do tend to still sell because they are rarely on the streaming service. Okay, first artist we're going to talk about is Fleetwood Mac. And how I'm going to rank these artists are in their self based on their sell through rate, not based on their average album price, because their average album prices are actually very close to each other. But Fleetwood Mac. Their album sell an average of $23, and they have a 19% sell-through rate, according to uh, Terra Peak. And remember, you can always beat these sell-through rates simply by listing your items cheaper. And generally, you're also not get you're not going to get the average Fleetwood Mac price for your your particular album because that price also has brand new sealed albums figured into it, stuff that Stevie Nicks might have signed and everything else. Although I did in doing my calculations, I threw out everything over $100, so at least there's not real rarities or box sets being figured into this. But Fleetwood Mac, average sale 23, 19% sell-through rate. I sold two sets of stamps, $7.99, same customer. And I got that second sale by using a little strategy I like to call Hey, free shipping if you get anything else. When I see a customer who buys something I have a lot of and it's early enough in the day, or especially if it's on the weekend, I'll send them a message that says, hey, if you want any more stamps, or maybe it's records or anything else, if you buy any more of those for me, you know, by t tonight or this weekend, I'll refund the shipping on any more you buy and I'll just send them all together. Uh, my, and that works sometimes. Uh, the way I've got my shipping rules set up is on one of my accounts is it does that anyway. And on the other one of my accounts, it barely counts anything for the for the extra item. I really don't care if that extra record cost me 60 more cents to ship and the customer didn't pay any more shipping. I'd still rather, rather sell the extra record anyway. And I also sold this West End Gaines Star Wars Rebel Alliance source book, 3644. There are multiple Star Wars role-playing games, but the ones that say West End Games at the bottom, those tend to be the most valuable ones. The, the ones that say Wizards of the Coast on the cover tend to be worth a little bit less, although they're still a pickup if you see them. Just the West End Games one is the valuable one. All right, next band we're going to talk about, ACDC. Average album price of $20.14, and they've got a 20% sell-through. And ACDC is everywhere. Should be an easy one to find. And notice ACDC names a lot of their albums just off the hit song, right off the bat. You know, Back in Black, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap. I sold this putter, Odyssey White Hot 2 Youth Putter, $37. 
and I don't do free shipping. You, you hear some people saying they're doing free shipping on their golf clubs because they know how much it's going to cost. I also know how it's going to cost, so I charge the customer that much instead. That way when I send the offer, the offer's not taking money out of the shipping price. All right, your next group, easy to find, is the Beatles. Average sale price of $23 with a 24% sell-through rate. Now, I have found Beatles, item, Beatles albums are awful, often in very poor condition when I find them, so you're probably not going to be getting that $23 on your average Beatles album because a lot of those just got played so much over and over again. But they still sell quite easily. Uh, this one also seems to have a decent sell-through rate, but you're not just going to find it all that randomly. Rare Bird, As Your Mind Flies By, $11.99. Just sold that. And I also sold this Deadlands RPG Player's Guide, $21.13. I know I had had this for a long time because it was at the very far left of a bookshelf. I... I fill my bookshelves up left to right. As when I as items come out, I push everything to the left. So I know the item on the left the items are in order of age on that shelf. And this one was touching the wall. Uh next up, Led Zeppelin. $23 average sale price and a 27% sell through rate. I particularly have a hard time keeping Led Zeppelin in stock. They they sell very quickly and those first few albums and Houses of the Holy, they show up all the time in most rock collections and they're going to move fast for you. Sold this uh, BCW card binder. This is a specialty one because normally these card binders have pages that hold cards three across, but this instead has pages that hold cards four across. Some of the guys who play the card game collectible card games like that because a lot of the games allow you to use up to four copies of the same card at one time so you can collect your four copies straight across and have it look nice in your binder sold for $8.99 it is used it has my name written on the back of it because I think that is about a $30 MSRP product and it did take a while to sell uh, next up and another album another group I have a hard time keeping in stock Pink Floyd Average sale price of $30 with a 29% sell through rate. I can usually sell the Pink Floyd album within a week if I want to. I don't even need to wait the months or whatever else. Just mark it a tiny bit cheaper for the condition and, you know, talk about how nice it is or do the videos like I do and it's going to move. I sold two paintings to the same customer and she's still shopping as we speak. I sold this colorful flowers in clear vase in another very similar painting. Uh, I sent her 20% off offers and that's $56 total. Uh, the second painting came from that same strategy as before where I said, I messaged the customer and said, hey, I can get 10 paintings in the same tube for the same price. So any more you want to buy tonight, I'll just refund that shipping money. I'll even send you that same 20% off offer. And so far she's bought one and she's still browsing according to the message that she sent me a few minutes before I started this video. All right, another one you're going to be on the lookout for is Black Sabbath. Doesn't quite show up as often as some of the others, but it's common enough. $29 average album price and 31% sell-through rate. We've cracked into the 30s now. Well, Herb Alpert and Neil Diamond are going to be down there in the 2-3% range. Although I like Neil Diamond. Sold this Mickey Christmas ornament, holiday showstopper, six forty-seven. Christmas does sell all year because I also sold these two customizable Gans snowman balloon ornaments, and my wife's gonna write the custom names on them because I have bad handwriting. Somehow, I'm seemingly the only person in the world who has these. I think that the shop. I got the place I got them from was the only person who ordered them in bulk from Gans that year. And otherwise they just went to a few stores who put them up and I don't know, none, none others have hit the internet except for mine. The place I got them from doesn't have them anymore. I have them and I'm the only one.
not that, that not that they're super sought after or anything, but I did get fourteen ninety four for the two of those. Although it will take about a minute and a half for my wife to write the names on them. I've also got a lot of them with names printed on them as well, so it goes both ways, I guess. Uh, next up, uh, Steely Dan. Average uh, album price twenty five dollars and. Steely Dan right now has a 32% sell-through rate. And some of the albums sell through even faster than that. Not super familiar with Steely Dan, but apparently a lot of other people are. I sold this Dungeons & Dragons miniature module, Dragons of Ice Pyre Speak. Yeah, $4.49. I have massive quantity on these. I've talked about it in another video, so I'm not going to waste your time with it now. And finally, Kiss. KISS has an average album price north of $35. Uh, it's hard to pull up the, the exact one because when I calculate the average KISS album price, it's calculating including, the na including a bunch of other albums that just have the word KISS in them. But the sell-through rate is great at 32%, and I, I pulled that up by actually only checking the sell-through rate of several specific KISS albums and just averaging them. But yes, overall, great money great sell-through rate. I can't keep kissing stock when I can get them. And I guess that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe. Uh, why don't you tell your neighbor about the channel? They might need to know about it. Hope to see you again soon.